Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias, and welcome back to Omni Factory. In the last episode, we were doing some work, um, getting our first steam dynamo, and starting to work towards um, our first machines, which are going to help so much. Uh, I can't wait. But we also went to this building and cleared it out a little bit. Um, did I leave... I did leave some uh, journey map things on. Um, so yeah, I have so many of these. Um, but yeah, so we went and did some work um, clearing this building out, uh, looking for treasure. There was none, unfortunately, but uh, it kind of is what it is. So yeah, um, doing episodes, I honestly didn't do that much. Um, just kind of got some materials together, some conductive iron, and worked on smelting up some different things. Organized things a little bit differently. So this is all of our extra ores, um, and I included in a Minecraft iron ore, um, just so that we can have, you know, plenty of materials sitting around for use. Uh, so today, what we're going to start working on is trying to get to machines. Um... It's going to be super important because we need machines to do things. Um, before we do though, um, because I smelted up a bunch of different metals and whatnot, um, we have a, a ton of like tin and iron and copper. We have some more in-game quests to complete. Um, we already had the copper one completed. We have iron now. We'll get some nickels for this. Um, we just need a stack of all these elements, which is pretty easy. Uh, tin and gold. So nothing too major there. Uh, let's go ahead and put our nickels away. And let's get started. So um, the next thing that we need to do is we need to get power. So all of the machines that we're going to be using pretty much require um, EU. EU is annoying to make. Um, I don't even know if we can make it. Let's look it up real quick. Uh, I know there's generators basic diesel generator yeah we can't do that and it looks like um basic generators are not a thing um so i don't know industrial i mean industrial tech is even in this so it's it's all greg tech um so to get any sort of eu generation at the beginning of this is going to be pretty much impossible there is a doge coin um we can get some brass out of it ah interesting okay anyways um so in order to get power for the machines that we're going to be making um we're going to need to convert uh our rf power into eu and so that's going to be what we worry about first i think and for that we need a cef um low voltage and that is the quest here. So um, we're also going to need some conductive iron cables. Uh, and hopefully our work tables will help us a lot. So we have a primitive circuit. We already have that. We don't need anything with that. Um, we're going to need some conductive iron energy conduits. So let's get another set of that. So we'll need conductive iron plates. Um, we'll need what three, three of those for right now. So that's six plates. Put that in here and get three wires and get the conductive, um, iron energy conduits. So we have that taken care of. Um, now this is something we're probably not going to be making too many of, at least at this point. So we're going to put it in a crafting table right over here. So something like this. Um, the outside is the 4X conductive iron wires. Uh, so we're gonna need, um, we're gonna need a lot of those. And so how many of those do we actually need for the quest? Do we need four? Oh man, that is going to be half a stack of conductive iron. We need more conductive iron. Uh, let's grab five blocks worth, I guess. 
and we'll get that going real quick. Um, our mortar broke. So this is where we can get some more raw iron. Just keep a little bit in there, because why not? That's kind of the point of these work tables. And there we go. Let's turn that into uh, conductive iron. And we can go ahead and smelt this up. So that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to make plates. So we're going to need, for this guy, 4x times 2. Uh, so that is like 16 plates-ish. It's a lot of plates. Um, let's just go for as many as we can make and turn those all into wires. And then it'd be nice if we could make these go straight to 4x, but it's actually not that bad. Um, so there is the two 4x wires. We're going to need a chest that's nice and easy. In fact, we have one already. And then the last item for the CEF is just the um, LV machine hull, which is some wrought iron, some tin cables, and an LV machine casing, which requires a wrench. Um, uh, it shouldn't be any, like, it shouldn't be that difficult. We can probably use any wrench. Uh, let's get a couple blocks of wrought iron and tin. Uh, we have the conductive iron, we can make the cables. And um, we actually only need one more cable, so that's it's kind of nice. Uh, at least I think. So let's see, we're going to need one more plate, one more cable, and then we will wrap these. and save that recipe so there is eight of those and then um we'll switch these to the 4x on our own i realized we needed four of those didn't we yes so um that's where we need another what 16 There's eight plates, that's eight wires made into that. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, and I'm gonna have to remember that um, CFs come in two sizes, 4X and 16. Um, never hook up a cable with a thickness less than the size of the CEF's number of slots. So. Uh, if it's a 4 slot, we need 4x cable, 16 slot for a 16x. Um, so that is good to know. So we have those. Uh, then we just need to make the machine hole, and that might be something we want to do in one of these guys. Um, let's do it in here. So the machine hole is going to require three wrought iron plates. Um, and then the one before it requires eight wrought iron plates. So that is 16. And so we'll set this up and then we just need a wrench. Um, now does it have to be, uh, cause this is something the wrench is galore. So it looks like we need any wrench. We might actually already have one. We do. So there we go, it detected it. And cool, that works. So that is the LV machine casing. And then we just need uh, two tin cables. So 10 plates, four tin. We'll save that. Um, then we need wire, two of those, and then coat those. 
and we'll get the 10 cables. All right, cool. So this should be pretty easy now. Um, if I can actually click. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can click. All right, there we go. So we put this stuff in here and we get the machine hole. And then we'll just go ahead and set that up. So there is our CEF and that should be a quest. It is awesome. So we have everything there that we need. Let's go ahead and get our pennies. We work for pennies, evidently. Um, and real quick, we have a sign. We're going to call this um, Machine Holes for now. Uh, eventually, eventually. Uh, it's going to be a while, but we'll get into the the best mod, Applied Energistics, um, which is going to allow us to automate things, uh, but it's going to be pretty... It's going to be a pretty while before we can get that point because we'll need to get a blast furnace uh, to actually do something with aluminum, to get aluminum rather, and go from there. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit. So with that quest done, um, the next thing we're going to do is the power storage. And for this, we're going to make four small battery holes. Um, this should not be too bad. We can get rid of that and that and that. So the battery holes are tin plates and red alloy cables. So um, red alloy wires, we need red alloy plates. So we're gonna need some red alloy and I don't have any. Um, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need four of those. We're gonna need f eight red alloy plates. I don't remember how to make this stuff. It's copper and redstone. So let's make a batch of this. Uh, and red alloy. So there's 14. That should be enough for right now. Uh, let's grab a little bit of coal. Turn that into fuel. And at some point we'll get more. Um, but we're gonna need eight tin plates. So we're going to need uh, 16 tin. So let's get that. Um, where are we gonna put this? I guess we can put this with the machine holes. So let's, let's change the name of this. Uh, just a little bit to machine holes uh, and batteries. All right, so there's the red alloy wire or red alloy stuff. Um, we just need three of these, so that's six plates. Very soon we'll be able to make plates a little bit easier. And then we just combine these together, make red alloy wires. We'll remember that. And then here, battery holes. I needed to make one more. I forgot we're making four, not three. And red alloy. Cool. So that, that's that. Um, so these battery holes can be used to make different batteries. Uh, and these are reusable batteries. Now, lithium, sodium, and cadmium are all the tiers we can get with this. Um, we just have to get the actual stuff with it. And it kind of talks about this. So lithium is found in tungsten veins, uh, but it's fairly rare. Consider buying some lithium from the coin store if you can't find any. Um, lithium batteries are the best, cadmium is the second best, and sodium is the third. Uh, cadmium is tough to get at this point, so it's not even worth considering. However, sodium is plentiful. Just get um, rock salt or salt and uh, smelt it up. But it only holds half the power of lithium. So we're going to use our first set of coins. Uh, and what we're going to get is just a little bit of lithium. 
um, which it it says uh, lithium from the coin store. If you can't, it's the bottom left cornerish. Um, I don't know why it says that because there is no coin store. Uh, that's that's not how it works in this. Um, we use the coins as crafting recipes. So for whatever reason, um, it says that. But um, we should be able to get lithium ore. Uh, it is two omni nickels for quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, just something like this. We're going to go put one lithium. We're going to try to put a lithium in here. It doesn't fit, so it goes in there. And we smelt this up into the ingots. And then we can crack, uh, like, uh, mortar it to the, uh, the other form. So we're going to get four, eight. Eight batteries and while this is cooking um, we're gonna go ahead and get some other stuff going so um, what's the next quest talk about so the next quest is putting it all together and then we can start doing ore doubling and motors and all sorts of fun stuff so putting it all together um, steam dynamo needs burnable fuel like coal and water uh, output RF through the excitation coil um, which is if we place this down, um, it, RF goes out from there, um, the red bit. And then what? Um, orientation can be adjusted with a crescent hammer if need be. We're gonna make the hammer. Um, we're gonna make all the, the wrenches. Uh, although energy conduits can be used to transfer power, it can also just simply be outputted directly in the next step, the CEF, um, by making it touch the excitation coil. Transforms the power into EU. Um, needs to be fed RF power, uh, typo, uh, to output the U power through the red dot. Orientation can be adjusted using a wrench. And then conductive iron cables connect to the red dot. And then we just need some Greg Tech machines. Um, and we can make whatever we want, but it's recommended to make these two first. And I'm going to go with that because they're going to be really useful. Um, compressors will make plates from one ingot instead of two much much better and the wire mill will make wires a lot easier so um yeah those are the first two that we're gonna want by the way i want to make the crescent hammer it's just three iron and a tin so we're gonna get that right away that's raw iron and yeah crescent hammer uh one of my favorite items actually all right anyways thank you thank you for telling me all that now, before we do anything else, we need to claim our pennies and our nickels. Um, it looks like it wants us to make the wire mill first. And there's something with spin the coins. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to have some reading to do. Um, we have... That was weird. Uh, the, the, uh, the quest thing fading, in, fading out really messed up the, uh, the gold furnace the gold furnace is buggy because um, normal furnaces if you look at them uh, it darkens everything around it um, the gold furnace doesn't and so it looks really weird anyways uh, let's go ahead and crush this up um, to get some lithium dust looks like we need to make another mortar and then we can combine these guys to make lithium batteries, which store um, 100,000 EU. Not too bad. Uh, now, before we do anything else, I want to make the infinite water source, which is actually pretty easy. Just requires some wrought iron plates. Uh, and so that is the next order of business. Uh, we're going to need six. Let's just get some more wrought iron. Uh, and then we're going to need uh, another bucket. So that's just iron plates. Oh, wait, no, I have, I have a bunch of buckets. What, what am I talking about? We just need to go get water. Okay, so let's get the plates. And do we dare brave the night? Yeah, probably. 
But what we can also do is go ahead and... I've already done that. Never mind. As I say, go ahead and clean up this area. So what we're going to have is... Um, not like that, which is why we have a wrench. To say. Uh, rotates. So we just want to rotate it so it's facing that way. Um, we'll put the infinite water here. I think will work. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, CEF goes there. Uh, we can store power like so. And then we can have conduits, basically. Um, so we're going to do it this way. And then add, if we need more power transfer, we can, we can do that. So this is going to be the basic setup for now. Um, eventually we will make things look nicer, be better, um, and we'll probably move out of this building because it's relatively small. Each floor is at least. So to make the infinite water, we need to go get some water. Um, let's go ahead and sleep because it's going to be a little bit before we can go outside otherwise. All right. Lots of progress. Um, let's go ahead and look at the, the rest of the quest book see what this has to tell us so um ore doubling in most expert packs uh you want to try to process as little ore as possible before you get access to ore doubling habit of most of us uh most of us are in you shouldn't feel any pressure to do that in omni factory though ore veins are massive and mining is extremely fast with mining hammers what's more once you get access to the macerator it produces ore extremely slowly and takes a decent amount of power so um, obvious materials would be rare, uh, obvious exceptions are rare materials, but gold honestly is not that bad. Um, so doubling things that we can't find is kind of most worth it, but we shouldn't, basically it's just telling us we shouldn't feel bad not processing ores. Um, I'm still going to, until envy or even later, wow. Um, I'm still going to keep the ores and kind of process them as needed, but, um, it's kind of good to know that. Uh, the mod, the mod pack maker, the who wrote the quest book and all that kind of stuff, really kind of, it's it's reassuring to know that hey, it's okay. Go ahead and use your ores. You'll get more. Um, if they're rare, then kind of keep them. Um, this helps a lot. Uh, because like for example, lithium ore. If we pull out the block, and they're they're like there's silver right below us. If we do this with lithium. Um, it's now attributed to lithium. We can keep the range uh, and scan this. You can see there's no lithium other than this one right here. So that's kind of the, the idea is um, we can use the scanner to get all of the ores we want. And uh, we can always make more block modules if we even wanted to. If we wanted to go just for a um, a big outing to go get more stuff, um, that is definitely something we could do. But yeah, ba basically, uh, we shouldn't worry about using our ores. Um, I'm going to kind of process them as needed. I'm not going to get a big back pile. Um, but if we look like we have four blocks of iron, I probably want to get some more iron going. Um, Silver, we should be fine on for now, and just kind of process what we need as we need it. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the idea, and kind of the plan. So let's go ahead and make the infinite water source, and we get our buckets back. I kind of figured that. Um, we'll go ahead and put these back as well. We have so many buckets, but um, yeah, so rare materials are important, but let's go ahead and detect that get our reward for that and spin your coins so uh, while there are no types of veins that are extremely rare um, mathematical reality that you'll certainly struggle to find at least one of the less common vein types uh, yeah, just kind of the way it is um, but we have a bunch of omni coins from quest turn -ins. do not hesitate do not be hesitant to spin them on less common ores we're lacking um, don't be a hoarder I'm going to hoard as much as I want so that, that's good to know, and um, yeah, that that's kind of just telling us about all that stuff. Um, eventually we will have all the ores, we'll have one of every single ore, um, and with that we'll, we'll be able to find the ore veins as needed. 
and then if I'm lazy, we can buy stuff. Um, the Omni Pennies are also used for making like for getting like saplings and stuff. So, for example, if we can't find cactus, we can get cactus. Um, shouldn't be a problem. So, uh, we have infinite water. Steam Dynamo will need water. Um, infinite water source will take care of that. So, I don't know if this will directly input. Um, we might want to make some pressurized fluid conduits. And, ooh, these are the really, really... Um... I don't know if that is a, a new thing or not, but pressurized fluid conduits are usually require um, clear glass. Uh, so this is a really good recipe. And the assembler obviously makes it faster and better. Um, so let's go ahead and make some of those. We're just gonna need a little bit of glass. And uh, we'll just do it this way. And I won't remember this, but we'll just do it that way for now. Okay, so let's get our pennies. And um, as you can see, we're now able to get into the early game soon. We need to get the motors first. Um, so let's dump off some stuff. Um, we're not going to need that right now. We're only going to need one of these right now. Maybe. Uh, we're going to dump off our pennies. And... Isn't that what the recipe is? For the nickels? Oh no, it's like that. So let's get... Some more... Um, get some more quarters. All right, that would be a dollar. So I think this is like so. Yeah. Okay. So we have like two dollar. Wow, we have we have a good amount of money with the Omni coins. Uh, so we could get any ores we want, really. Um, I don't know how much I will do that because I like I like mining. Uh, it's fun. It's relaxing. So who knows. But, um, how bad is the Yetta Wrench? It requires an Iron Gear, and that is really annoying. So unless I have one, we don't. We're not going to worry about it. Let's get the Steam Dynamo going. So if I put this right here, does this fill up with water? Uh, it does, but it does very slowly. Now what if we put a cable? And the way these work, we can do insert... Yeah, this is the newer version of... I should have expected. It's the newer version of um, Ender.io. So extract. Uh, we want that to be insert. And... Uh, this is the, the struggling part. We're going to pop down. And that will be extract always active. And so is that better, worse? This is still really slow. The infinite water source is really, really slow. Um, it's one millibucket per tick of water constantly. If we make a bunch of them, we can get uh, much more. We can get eight buckets, millibuckets, up to 64. But that is a lot of stuff that we don't want to do yet. So. We'll have to live with it for now. But if I let this kind of just set, uh, it should be fine. And we can charge up later. So it'll be okay. Uh, anyways, let's take a look at the quest book and see what's next. Um, we'll come back to the wrenches later. I don't feel like doing that right now. Uh, it's too much of a struggle to make uh, the um, iron gear. And then there's also uh, fuel catalyzers. This is just a bunch of raw iron and... Um, the redstone conductance coil, which probably should have taught the system how to make. Um, we'll see. We'll see if that's important. Uh, the, the work tables, that is. Because I don't think... I don't think it knows how to do that. Though, to be fair, it knows how to make the gold rod, so maybe we could do a little bit more with that. We'll see. 
Um, but this will basically increase fuel efficiency, uh, which is nice. We'll look into that soonish. And then jetpacks, which are a little bit premature, I think. Uh, so the next thing is the electric motors. Uh, great tech machines are built from a number of components, many of which are shared between the machines. Uh, motors are used in a great number of the recipes, even including other components. Um, we'll be making these quite often, so it's good to know. Uh, now here is the issue we're going to have. Most of the stuff is not too bad. Uh, but the magnetic rod... Oh, that's actually pretty easy. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to work on this. We're going to need a bunch of iron. Let's just get all of this iron. Uh, we're probably going to need a good bit of redstone. And we want the motor. Electric motor. Um, some copper and some tin. Not much of either of those. So let's go ahead and get this stuff processing um and in alloys we'll do the magnetic rod so we need an iron rod uh we need three of these actually six of them for we're going to do this recipe twice we're going to need uh copper wires times eight so that is 16 copper plates. And we'll go ahead and put this here. Two, three, four. Um, here we can do this. So we'll just put a bunch of redstone in there. You get two magnetic rods. We'll save that. Um, trying to be a little bit organized and then we just need two 10 cables so um, well per rather so 10 wires and 10 cables not too bad um, so this will make the electric motors cool so that should be that, and we'll get another quest done. So now the early game is actually unlocked. We can make the cluster mill, um, which makes foils, uh, which we can use. So copper foil we can use to make fine copper wire, uh, which makes it easier to make uh, vacuum tubes, because otherwise we'd have to use copper wire itself which uh, the wire mill is probably the first thing to do, um, definitely. And then the centrifuge, which gives us other things. Um, so let's go ahead and try to make our first machine. Uh, pumps give us uh, the fluid solidifier, the wire mill, uh, and then alloy smelter, compressor, and compacting drawers. That will be good later. Um, so the wire mill, basic wire mill. We're going to need um, a lot of things. So let's get rid of that for the wire mill. And this is going to be one of those things we're going to do here as again. Uh, we're going to need one, two. All right, we're going to need two tin cables. So that's four tin. Let's go ahead and get that. And I have a funny feeling we're not going to have enough iron. Uh, so one, two, three, four. And two of those. Two tin cables. That is the easy part. Um, I think these were here. We're going to need two primitive circuits. So we're going to need two full circuits. And for that, we're going to need... Um, another wrought iron plate, that's not too bad. This does make things a lot easier, um, FYI. Uh, the work tables are amazing. So we need another wrought iron plate. And what are we missing? We're missing vacuum tubes and resistors. So we're going to need another set of resistors. 
uh, and two vacuum tubes. Um, two more vacuum tubes. So we need some glass panes. Just get 16. Put them in there. So one, two, and then these guys, we're just gonna need um, copper wire, what times five? So that's 10 plates. Wires and two. There's one set of the circuits. Uh, so we're gonna need You know, why is this stuff in here? This stuff should be in the wires area. Um, so we need two more vacuum tubes, so that's six more. We're gonna need two more copper for this part. And hopefully we have enough iron to do all this stuff. Um, I actually don't know where we left the iron. There it is. I was like, I know I have more. Um, we should save that. All right, so there is the six more wires we need another set of oh man um we need the pliers oh boy this is gonna be complicated um so it says file in the screwdriver uh so we're gonna need the file where is the screwdriver? All right, so we need pliers, or why are they wire cutters? They might be wire cutters. Yeah, wire cutters, we need wire cutters. Oh boy, um, we need a hammer as well. Um, might just be easier to make another hammer. So let's get a bunch of wrought iron. We're gonna make some extra tools and we're gonna want some sticks can't I do this yeah let's get a stack of sticks and just put that in there um, so we get the hammer um, so we need two rods uh, might be better to make another file as well how bad is the file oh that's easy Two, three, four. So we'll make another file. Um, we're gonna need two rods and a screw, which is just um, another rod. So we're gonna need three rods. One, two, three. Um, the file so we we saw where is our saw um, we haven't really used this all that much so we'll put it in here so saw with the rod gives the bolts and then two bolts with a file gives the screw and then we should be able to make this um put the screwdriver in there for now um that goes there two rods and then we just need three plates so we need six more wrought iron and that's not too bad um a lot of work but one two three all righty then so this will give us the wire cutters and definitely getting these um, automated so we don't have to do that anymore is gonna be the nicest thing ever. So there is the six copper wires, um, two vacuum tubes, and the, uh, what are we missing? Oh, uh, three red alloy wires. We have one, we need two more. So that's two plates. And that's not that bad. So two plates, 
two wires, red alloy wires, and there is the second primitive circuit. Perfect. All right, so we're almost there. Last thing we need, um, last two things we need is we need two more electric motors, um, which were not that bad. Uh, so tin, copper, and iron. So we need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six iron rods, two magnetic ones, um, uh, four copper wire, no, eight copper wire, and uh, four tin cables. So one, two, three, four, four tin plates. Um, tin wires, tin cable, uh, we need rubber sheets, and rubber is super easy to get, so we're going to make extra of those as needed. Alright, and then we just need the copper, so we're going to need 816 copper. We have plenty of copper. Okay. Once we get done with this, we'll, we'll be, we'll end up the episode off. I know this one's getting a little bit long and we're doing a lot of crafting, but um, first machines are exciting. So put that there. One, two more electric motors. And last thing we need, wrong one, keep going the wrong one. Uh, last thing we need is the another LV machine hall. So that is uh, 11 raw iron plates uh, and two tin cables. One, two, three, four. So we can put the, uh, man, we're gonna have to dip into our supplies. Um, it is all of our wrought iron, our, all of our wrought iron. Um, so 11 plates. Make that, and then we just need the two 10 wires, 10 cables, uh, 10 cables, and there is the LV machine hall, and there is our very first basic wire mill, uh, our first machine. So we get that, and now we can start working on making other things like um, oh yeah, I already have the hardened sat satchel alloy smelter. That's something else we could do. So fine copper wire. With the wire mill, we can turn one copper wire into four fine copper wires, and um, th they accept either. So this is basically four times the copper. Uh, so the copper, the the wire mill, we can make uh, a bunch of things with it. Uh, can we turn? We can turn copper wires into four, um, but it doesn't look like we can turn copper into, we can make bronze wire, but it doesn't look like we can make copper wire from it. So, um, we can make one copper into two copper wires. So yes, this will make copper go much, 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 much further. So we should be able to just put this right here um, we'll put one copper in there and then we're going to come down here. We're going to grab some coal. Uh, and let's go ahead and hopefully nothing bad happens. That's the only thing I'm like remotely worried about. Um, but this is full of stuff. So we should be able to start powering it, which should mean that this is going to start working. It's going to be. super slow um let's actually i don't know if i need to use anything else okay we can just break that let's get some power stored so that this will actually work uh, but yeah so this is what we're working towards machines and machines will make everything easier and then eventually we'll have automation for the machines and then we'll have 
all sorts of fun things. So at this point, making the wires and all that kind of fun stuff is going to be kind of the, the key. Um, does this have anything? All right, how much does it require for the copper? Uh, it is 500 EU, so there's more than enough in there. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this back in. And we can get fine copper wires, which means we can get a lot of stuff a little bit easier. So the machines, the whole point of them is to slowly, slowly, slowly make everything easier to make. And then once it's easier to make, we can make more complicated stuff, which is less easy to make. And then we start over again and it'll go back and forth forever. Um, so yeah, that is awesome. Um, that is also going to be where we end today's episode. So we have our very first machine um, working. Everything is good. And what we can do now is the resistors. We can start using fine copper wire. Um, and like the vacuum tubes, we can use the fine copper wire. Uh, it won't remember that until I make one. So let's go ahead and make a resistor. And we'll just replace these recipes. Uh, we need a glass tube. And that will be much better. So, um, yeah, basically we can make circuits just a little bit easier now. And then we'll be able to continue working on more and more stuff as we go. So, that's the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to kind of look at what's next um kind of what else i want to make um process some iron that is probably needed and then we'll go from there so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys in the next one bye